Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Z Media, where the curtains draw open to celebrate the luminous lives of our beloved stars who have taken their final bow. As we gather in this moment of remembrance, our hearts are filled with a mix of sorrow and gratitude. We mourn the loss of their radiant presence, yet we rejoice in the eternal sparkle they left on our lives. Like shooting stars that blazed across the sky, they illuminated our world with their talent, charisma, and artistry. Though their time on this earth was brief, their impact will shine bright for generations to come. Join us on Z Media as we pay homage to their enduring legacies, relive the joy they brought to our hearts, and cherish the timeless memories that will forever be etched in our minds like constellations in the night sky. We remember a remarkable talent who left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Shelley Duvall, acclaimed actress known for her unforgettable roles, passed away on July 11, 2024. She was 75 years old. Duval's unique presence graced both the big screen and television, leaving audiences captivated. You might remember her as Wendy Torrance, the terrified wife in Stanley Kubrick's chilling adaptation of Stephen King's The Shining. Her performance was haunting, delivered under notoriously difficult conditions. But Duval's talent extended beyond horror. She also portrayed olive oil in Robert Altman's quirky Popeye and stood out in the ensemble cast of Nashville. Shelley Duvall didn't set out to be an actress. Born in Texas, she initially pursued other interests. But fate intervened when director Robert Altman discovered her during the filming of Brewster McCloud. Altman recognized her distinctive looks and cast her in several films, including the critically acclaimed Three Women. Duvall's journey took unexpected turns, from Woody Allen's Annie Hall to Terry Gilliam's Time Bandits. But her most iconic moments were alongside Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Her portrayal of Wendy Torrance remains etched in cinematic history. Shelley Duvall's creativity extended beyond acting. She produced the beloved TV series Fairy Tale Theater, bringing classic stories to life. Her distinctive voice narrated and starred in the show, captivating audiences young and old. Duvall's legacy isn't just about her performances. It's about her passion for storytelling and her dedication to bringing magic into our lives. And so, as we bid farewell to Shelley Duvall, let us remember her as an artist, a dreamer, and a true original. We bring you a somber tribute to a legendary voice in country and gospel music. Joe Bonsall, celebrated tenor of the Oak Ridge Boys, has passed away at the age of 76. Joe Bonsall's journey was one of passion, resilience, and unwavering dedication. Born in Philadelphia, and later a resident of Hendersonville, Tennessee, Bonsall left his gospel group, the Keystones, in 1973 to join the iconic Oak Ridge Boys. Together, they created timeless hits that resonated across generations. The 80s marked their golden period, with chart toppers like Elvira, Bobby Sue, and American Maid. Elvira catapulted them into the mainstream, reaching No. 1 on the country chart and No. 5 on Billboard's All Genre Hot 100. But Joe Bonsall was more than a singer. He loved to read, write, and play the banjo. And of course, he adored the Philadelphia Phillies. Yet, above all, his family and faith remained his compass. Today, we bid farewell to Joe Bonsall, whose voice touched our hearts and whose legacy will endure. As we remember him, today, we bring you a special tribute to a man who left an indelible mark on American politics. Former United States Senator Jim Inhofe passed away on July 11, 2024, at the age of 89. Let's take a closer look at his remarkable life and legacy. Jim Inhofe was no ordinary politician. For more than three decades, he represented Oklahoma in the United States Congress. But what set him apart was his unwavering commitment to his beliefs, even when they clashed with prevailing wisdom. Inhofe was a climate change skeptic boldly challenging the scientific consensus. His rejection of climate science became a defining part of his legacy. Who can forget that iconic moment in 2015 when he stood on the Senate floor, holding a snowball, arguing against global warming? But Inhofe was more than just a climate warrior. He championed conservative values, earning him the nickname Mountain Jim due to his middle name. His focus on God, guns, and gays resonated with voters, helping him win election to the Senate in 1994. Inhofe's influence extended beyond the Senate chamber. As chair of the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee during the Bush and Obama administrations, he shaped environmental policy. His legacy lives on through the staffers he mentored, who later played key roles in rolling back regulations. 
Inhofe was also a devoted family man and a man of faith. His former staff considered themselves part of his extended family. Today, we honor his service, dedication, and unwavering commitment to Oklahoma and the nation. So, as we bid farewell to Jim Inhofe, let us remember the maverick who challenged the status quo, who stood firm in his convictions, and who left an indelible mark on American politics. Bring you summer news from the entertainment world, veteran actor Doug Sheenan, known for his memorable roles on both the big and small screens, has passed away at the age of 75. Sheehan's career spanned decades, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of fans worldwide. Born in Santa Monica, California, in 1949, Sheehan made his television debut in 1978 with a guest appearance on Charlie's Angels. However, it was his portrayal of lawyer Joe Kelly on the daytime soap opera, General Hospital, that truly catapulted him into the spotlight. For 205 episodes, Sheehan graced our screens, earning a Daytime Emmy nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Daytime Drama Series. But Sheehan's talent extended beyond the hospital walls. From 1983 to 1988, he became a household name as reporter Ben Gibson on the beloved soap opera spin-off Knott's Landing. His character's departure to South America left fans both heartbroken and curious about what lay beyond the screen. In the 90s, Sheehan stepped into the role of the quintessential TV dad, as Sabrina's father on Sabrina the Teenage Witch and Cher Horowitz's father, Mel, on the TV series Clueless, he brought warmth and wisdom to our living rooms. Doug Sheehan's legacy lives on through the characters he portrayed and the memories he created. Tonight, we honor his contributions to the world of entertainment, paying tribute to Sir Jack Pecci, the successful businessman and philanthropist who passed away on July 11, 2024. Sir Jack Pecci Born in 1925 to working-class parents in Plaisto, East London, defied the odds. Despite leaving school at 13 with no qualifications, he already displayed entrepreneurial skills. His journey began as a greengrocer's delivery boy, carrying tomatoes, technically a fruit. World War I interrupted his path, but Sir Jack's resilience shone through. He enlisted as a police messenger, served in the Royal Navy, and even started his own taxi business with 60 pounds. From there, he built a thriving car sales company and ventured into property. But Sir Jack's true impact lies beyond business. In 1999, he founded the Jack Petchy Foundation, providing opportunities for young people across London and Essex. His commitment to youth projects transformed countless lives. We honor Sir Jack Petchy, a man who thought outside the box, turned adversity into opportunity, and gave back generously. His legacy lives on. We bring you a special tribute to an extraordinary athlete. Donald Scott, the American triple jumper, has left an indelible mark on the world of track and field. Today, on July 11, 2024, we mourn his passing, but we also celebrate his remarkable journey. We bring you a special tribute to an extraordinary athlete. Donald Scott, the American triple jumper, has left an indelible mark on the world of track and field. Today, on July 11, 2024, we mourn his passing but we also celebrate his remarkable journey. Donald Scott began as a sprinter and hurdler. His high school track coach, Sean Prophet, saw something special in him, a hidden talent waiting to be unleashed. Football was his passion, and he even earned a scholarship to play at Eastern Michigan University. But fate had other plans. Coach Prophet convinced Donald to try the triple jump. And just like that, a new chapter began. Donald traded his football cleats for track spikes. He joined the college track team after his freshman year, and the triple jump became his canvas. Coach Prophet convinced Donald to try the triple jump, and just like that, a new chapter began. Donald traded his football cleats for track spikes. He joined the college track team after his freshman year, and the triple jump became his canvas. In 2020, Donald represented Team USA at the Tokyo Olympics. His grades, power, and determination were awe-inspiring. He soared through the air, defying gravity, and secured a respectable seventh place in the triple jump. But he didn't stop there. Donald's journey continued at the World Championships. In 2022, he clinched a bronze medal in the triple jump. His leap of 17.74 meters left spectators braithless. It was a moment of triumph, a testament to his unwavering dedication. Donald faced setbacks, a career-threatening injury that tested his resolve. But he bounced back, 
In 2024, he defied the odds, hitting the Olympic standard mark with a jump of 55 feet 7 inches. His resilience was unmatched. And so, we bid farewell to Donald Scott, a champion, a friend, and an inspiration.